everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. We're back again here in beautiful Mythgard. And today's going to be a very special episode because we're going to build something that is very necessary. I want to build a wool farm for our beautiful sheep. Not just for the blood sheep. Oh, no, no, no. All hail though. But for every single sheep color in the game, which is 16, right? Yeah, 16 total. Why aren't golems dying? Because right now I've been building these little balloons, which don't need that much wool, especially those. Rest in peace, friends. And that little one up there. But every steampunk village is going to need a big balloon somewhere. Maybe even some zeppelins out here. And with the small amount of wool that we have right now, it ain't going to cut it. So today, we're going to be building a fully automatic wool farm. And at the same time... A big old Church of the Blood Sheep. And before we do anything else, I just want to give a big old thank you to everybody who's been recently subbing to the channel. We are now less than 13k away from 1 million. I can't believe it. It's weird. It's a weird number, but thank you all so much. And we're still getting over 13,000 likes every single hardcore video. You know what? I love you. Now, a lot of people have been wondering, what's up with Bubbles and why don't you have her custom texture pack on? Well, there was an issue because Optifine was not working with Replay Mod, but I think we got that fixed. So today, we're going to change Bubbles. She's going to look like her true self, hopefully. I just need name tags. And the best way to get name tags is with villagers. Ow, that hurts. But none of these have really unlocked anything yet. So I'm going to need some paper. And I have some right here. Yes, yes, yes. Get some emeralds just in case. Now, where's my favorite at? Mending, you're my favorite. I want you to be the one that unlocks this, but you don't have any paper trade. Do have this. And I can do this. And then fortune two, good enough. Come on, Birch Slayer. Give me some books. Go back to Mending Boy and sell it back to him. <laughs> this feels like cheating. I'm so sorry I'm cheating you, my friend. But you know what? I need name tags. Oh, you look like you stink. I gotta keep upgrading you. Um... I guess, yeah, I need glass, actually. Give me that. Oh, you're so nice. Next upgrade. Oh, look at that. Oh, you look like you stay. Do you want a bath or something? You want to put some little water bucket back there? Name tags? No, nope, not yet. Um, I guess I'll buy compasses. Is that good enough? Yes, it is. Okay, name tags next, please. Yes, you're nodding your head. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, what? You have a beat. It's like a beat in the background. Boof, boof, boof. Okay, no, you're fine. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Name tags. Yes, for ten. What are you... Why are you treating me? It's fine. I don't need that much more. All right. Give me name tags. You're so nice. I don't need six, but I'll take it. That's my favorite right there. Creepers, get out of here. Get out of my land. Mythgard does not approve you here. Pop, pop. Take that. Give me shoot your gunpowder on the floor after you die. I need an anvil. Hopefully this works. Bubbles. Oh, baby. Okay. Now, I just don't want to do it right there. That's not special. We got to do it somewhere really special. Let's see. Come with me, girl. We're going up there. Hey, blood sheep. I'm gonna go to the ceremony. Okay, let's see you up there. Yellow sheep! <laughs> Get out of here, yellow sheep. All good ceremonies need to be done in a summoning circle. That's pretty much the, I think the rule in the contracts here in our Minecraft worlds. Oh, perfect. Oh, you made it right up here. Okay, right here. Get in the front. Oh, yeah. No. What did you do? Um, guess we're going back around. Come on, boss. Need you to teleport. Come on up. Yep. Let's go. Right in here. Perfect. All right. This is it. This is the moment. We got to do some magic here in the hardcore world and bring your true self out in front of everyone right now that's watching. Okay? Are you ready? Here, have some meat. Oh, she loves it. All right. Ready? One. Two. I gotta do a 360, right? Okay. 360! Bomb! <laughs> yes! Bubbles! Yes, this is it! Welcome officially to the Hardcore Season 3 world, girl. Everybody in the comment section, say hi to Bubbles. Thank you so much. Okay, we did it! Oh, that's my girl right there. If you guys want pictures, actual pictures of what my real life girl Bubbles looks like, go to my Twitter right now. Follow me over there. Look in the media tab. She's all over that thing. And it looks exactly like this. Now, Bubbles, let's get out of here. What a great day this is. Finally, Bubbles is in the world. Ah! Good jump, Bubbles. Good jump. <laughs> oh. Hello. You can have that. Say hi to Bubbles. Now, before we start on that wool farm, I want to do a different kind of farming. I want to expand our crop fields over here. I need to do this more often because I really want to make this whole background filled with crops. So I added some more of these nice cobblestone brick mossy walls around here. Added some more wheat, some more carrots, some more potatoes. And you know what? Also, I wanted to make sure that we connected this path that you see right here going down to the other side with this bridge. And this is the perfect little diagonal bridge. Had the supports in place, but we had bad guys 
all around me, surrounding me. I told him to stop, especially that guy, the captain. I was like, you know what? You shoot me again, you see what happens. And I shot his friend. His friend was very upset, started burning. And you know what? The captain shot me. I was like, you know what? I'm going to save you for last. I'm going to take your sergeant out easily. And I'm going to take out your little private over here. But guess what? He broke my crops. I got upset. I hit him one more time. He's dead. And you know what? I told the captain, guess what? Come with me. Come over here. Come down to this bridge. Let me show you something. Let me show you this brand new terraforming that I did downstairs. Look, let me let me just push you along really quick. Guess what? I'm going to slap him really, really hard. Fwapa! Get down there. And he hit me one more time. But you know what? I'm not going to get that omen. Not today. I don't feel like doing a raid here in Mythgard. No, no, no. Because look at this. Brand new crop field. We even have a little rose bush section. <laughs> look how cool. Oh, this place is looking awesome. We're going to keep expanding, though. But I think it's looking pretty good so far. What do you think? Now we need to scout out a spot perfect for the new Church of the Blood Sheep. Bubbles, where do you think we should put it? Up there? Oh, good idea. Let me check. We do need a lot of space for this thing because we need to put a lot of pods. 16 to be exact. I'm going to be doing about half on one side, half on the other side. Have the church open in the middle with a nice little tower in the center. It's going to be pretty cool. I got an idea of how to do this church. I'm thinking, yeah. This could be a good spot. We could get rid of all the stuff we have here, aging our copper. And it's pretty cool, though, because this spot is big enough, I think. Let's just get rid of this copper we have here first. Now that we have this cleared up, let's go ahead and chop down some of these trees as well. Oh, I missed one. Perfect. pretty clear now i'm thinking a little terraform let's just push this back again <gasps> that's how accidents happen we're fine so how are we doing with the cobbled deep slates that's not cobbled deep slate but i actually need that so let's take some of this as well blah 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 cobbled deep slate yep i think we're good with this yoink bloop 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 I'm also going to need a lot of spruce. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're good. Let's take this whole top row. Besides that, copper. Lots of copper. Yep. Give me all this and all of this. Different colors, too. Hello. I'm going to need some dark oak. I'm also going to need some glass. And that should be good. And you know what? I can trade now with our villagers for more. Now let's get our technical component box. Uh, light blue. I... You're the one now. Now we need to make observers. So let's get some cobble, some redstone, and some quartz. And that's not enough. That's enough. I'm going to need a lot of hoppers. So let's go get a lot of iron. Ow. Let me check this in a while. Let's see how we're doing. Um, yep. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. First, let's make some chests. So I need 16, one for each color. But then on top of that, we're going to need a hopper mine cart. So we're going to need 16 more. Then 16 carts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. How many too many? Now I'm going to need 16 rails also. A bunch more chests. Eh, half a second's fine. I ran out of redstone. Um, I just need 16 little dabs of them. Dab down into the mines. Oh, man. Look at this place. I love it. Let's go. Woohoo. No, don't go back up. No, no, no. Glad I put backups here. I knew this was going to happen. Whee. I know for a fact there was just some right around here. Where is it? Oh, right there. Found it. 25. More than enough. Let's get out of here. Now we need a little bit of an outline. Let's see if I can set something up. Now that we got the outline here in place, I'm thinking this is enough space. Let's actually do one little module here and see how it'll fit. And then we could just repeat it all the way down on both sides. So the way I'm going to access these chests is going to be individually right here. We're going to do like a little double chest, right? Get a little hopper right there facing into that one. A rail going this direction and a hopper minecart on top. Then so this thing doesn't move, we're going to kind of close this off. I'm going to close this all off going up like that. Even in the back just to be 100% safe that it doesn't move. Top of this, we're going to grab grass and we're going to go down one, two, three right there and we're gonna take it all the way back covering this up but we're gonna go back one more like so now i'm gonna place a dispenser facing this direction i'm gonna put any block on top we're gonna go with that guy right there and then i'm gonna surround this in glass at least too high all the way around i'm actually gonna put it over here as well kind of encasing this whole thing in it from there the sheep's gonna go in the middle but for right now we're gonna be needing a observer 
And for that, I'm gonna have to knock these two down. Make sure it's underneath here facing this direction. Cover that up with grass again. And in the back here, we're gonna put a little redstone bit. For the rest back here, I'm just gonna cover this up with the polished steep slate and then cover that bit up. And the last bit we need to do is grab a bunch of shears and just drop it in here. But you know what? I'll hold off on that. Make sure every single one of these guys get the color that I want them to have. And then I'll drop the shears just in case. It's hard to die a naked sheep. Remember that. And we'll prettify this later, but for right now, something super simple that we could do is kind of like cross over like that so we can still have access to that. I can get rid of this. I'm probably going to add a shroom light underneath and then cover up that bit right there. Each one of these I want to take up at least by two there and then drop stairs on top of these. And then back here, I just want to take this probably all the way up on both sides. And I think I want to have this three high so it looks a little cooler. Take it up one more with a polished cross right there at the top. And up here, I want to add another polished on each corner and a stair going down like so. Actually, I might cut this back over here. We don't need the grass on this one. It's not going to affect the rates in the back. And they can still use the one we have back there to grow it. So we can cover that up like so. Oh, that looks a lot better, a lot cleaner. That's awesome. Prettify this even more, drop these down and do this kind of look. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And that's it. That's just one module. Now we just need to do this one another 15 times all the way around. Let's go. Now one side is pretty much almost complete. The only thing I just noticed is I have just clear glass. I would like to have a way to identify the colors, but with the glass that we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna replace these with some colored ones, but I got the outline pretty much all set up over here on this end with all the hopper mine carts, the hoppers, everything's all in place. And we got this nice little bit of cobble deep slate in the back here, a little backdrop. I might change that up maybe to some stones just so it's, it's not all oh, just deep slate, but it is looking good and everything's looking secure. We're all gonna have an open spot right there because of that redstone. So what I'm thinking is maybe we could bring some trap doors going down to cover these up, uh, just like a middle lining, just to give it a nice look to it, just so we could have a reason to cover up this little bit. But I like it, it's looking pretty good. Now before we go look for the colors, let me just go ahead and just put this thing and do another one over here. Color gathering time. Let's use our yellow sugar box for all our colors. Now what do we got in here? We got black. Well, insects. Now it's black. Uh, we got white. Well, bone meal. Now we have white. Now what color does allium, lilac, and peonies make? Lilac is magenta, allium is also magenta, we don't need it, and peony is pink. Okay, perfect, let's get these. Boop, boop. We got yellow right here, there's our blue, we got a bunch of red, there's the light gray, a little bit more, here's our blue, red, yellow. Now, I don't know if you guys know about this trick, but we can use sea pickles. One more glass, even more. Let's smelt those, and check this out, lime green, let's go. Now, if we get the red and the blue together, combine these two, and there's our purple. If we get some of the yellow and some of the red, we got orange. Now, I just need a little bit more yellow since we used a bunch of them. Let's bow me these bad boys. I wish you could do these with the little flowers, too. I know I had a cactus here somewhere. Where did it go? Oh, there we go. Let's cook these. I have to grow these a little more, though. Let's keep some. Now, we're probably going to have to get a little bit more black as well. If we have to make regular old gray, yeah, we definitely need to go kill some more squid. Oh, we can also use lapis as well because we're going to have to make a little bit of the light blue. There we go. Now we also need cyan, so we need to add the green and the blue. And I need cocoa beans. And, um, I don't know where they are. Oh, I think I know where it is. My food drawer? Yeah, <laughs> it's in my food drawer. Let's not waste all of them, because we need to make a cocoa bean farm soon. Then we're good. Oh, the colors are set. Now the only problem I see is I don't believe I have enough glass for everything we need in here. Let's grab some extra rockets and let's go look for some. There's a little beach side I can just take from here. Oh, my spoon. Eh, we should be all right. Just a little off the top. So like we're giving this beach a little haircut. <laughs> Magic! Look at this magic right here. I'm never going to touch the sand ever. That is just perfect. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this world is so beautiful. Case Eclipse Part 2, baby. Let's go. I think we're pretty good right here. And goodbye, magical sand. Oh, I do need squid. Prepare to die, friends. Wa Wa hey, stop playing with my ink. Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. I need the ink. Go play with a kelp or something. Oh, hello, Mythgard. Let's go to our super smelter. Whee. You all graceful. And let's drop in all of the sand. Um, just noticed these are for ores only. 
Let's um, put furnaces in this instead. <laughs> and replace. Bam, bam, bam. Let's drop our fuel in the back. Get a little bit more fuel. Yeah, it should be good. You know what? We can actually make a little bridge to cross over and go straight to the super smelter from right here. We can actually do that while we wait for that to cook. And let's put a door up. I think we got ourselves a nice little way up to the super smelter without having to go inside the blacksmith. And it's so simple. But look at that. Isn't that perfect? <laughs> it's so good. As far as the bottom side, it's very simple. But just a nice little archway right over here. Actually, hold on. I need a trap door there. I got it. I got it. And boop. Now that is a perfect little crossover bridge. I love adding these little bits of detail. Now, how are we doing? Oh, this should be more than enough. Now, I think we're good to go for right now. I got 24 of each color all the way down here. And if we need more, we can always get some more. I still have a bunch more glass smelting. I also need to remember to keep one die for each sheep once we put them in here. Now, I think I color coordinated this just right. We got the white, light gray, gray, black. Then we got the brown, red, orange, yellow, lime green, regular green. We got light blue, cyan blue. I think I messed up there. I went with lightness to darkness, so this should be fine, right? Or maybe it would have been better cyan than light blue than blue. I don't know. I like the way this looks. Light blue, cyan, blue, purple, magenta, and pink. I think that came out nice. Now we just need to get some sheep over here, dye them, and drop them inside their spots. We got the white one right there. Uh, I think we have a bunch more over here. Here we go. Come with me, friend. I'm going to dye you and put you in the right spot. Pig, you can't come. Oh, look at all these guys. Here we go. Here's another. Bam, bam. Oh, Enderman. What is this? I hate Enderman. Blood sheep, you're coming with me. You might not be a blood sheep at the end of this, though. Come on, friends. Oh, there's another one right there. Let's go. Now let's make a little stairwell to the top. Not, not yet, not yet. Get back. Um, I should make this a little wider, huh? Come into your forever home. Oh, God. Oh, no. They're all done. Everyone's dead. Gotta make this a little wider. You guys are a little thick. All right, this should be good. Come on up. All right, the white one. Um, you. Um, come on down. Not the blood sheep, not you. All right, stop, stop, stop. You go in right in here. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, that looks like it hurt a little bit. Then I put a little shroom light, and you get some illumination at least. White is done. Light gray. Oh, perfect. Bye-bye. Bye. Come on! Ah, uh, one side down. Ah, uh, eight more to go. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want you to see that. Oh my god, this took like 30 minutes, but you know what? We did it. This is the last one. Please, get on in this hole and relieve me from this misery. Please, please, please. Go. Thank you. And we're done. Oh, god. And now I say we put a roof on this thing. Let's go. And the church is complete. What do you guys think? Oh, I love this tower right here. Definitely taking inspiration off the little tower we did over here. Just a lot bigger. <laughs> Look at that. I love the gradient for this thing. Also, last minute, I added these cool little add-ons here. They're kind of fake windows that we really have no purpose to it, but I wanted to make it look a little bit more random. So I added the little triple window section, a single one on that side, and one kind of off-center. Nothing's really like symmetrical, which is pretty cool because the whole build is actually symmetrical itself. But to break up the symmetry. Adding these little fake windows looks really cool. Also, they added these little tiny little handle looking things, which looks pretty nice right there. Also on the other side is in different locations too, which is pretty fun. I might jump back over here and add little cog wheels and stuff like that, but I have absolutely no more copper after all this, but I might add that later on. Kind of like these over here. Oh God, you know what? Since I'm already here, give me a second. This guy's been here way too long. I don't know if you're gonna live through this, but we'll see. I really thought he was gonna live through that. And also we have our first visitors to the church. Hello, friends. What do you got? See you, Pickles? Ah, it's um, not needed. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs> They're leaving. He saw the sword pop out. Oh no, he's gone. 
But let's take a look at the interior. This came out pretty cool. One, two, three. Bam! Look at this thing. Look at that ceiling right there. The cross beams. Oh, one of my favorite things to do is cross beams on a big ceiling. Just like this. That looks awesome. There's no access point up there, so it's pretty much just all lit up from the shroom lights, but it's pretty nice. We don't need anything up there right now. And we have a lot of supply here. Check this out. <laughs> Look at this. It's working so good right now. I don't have access to the big tower right now, but we really don't need it at the moment. Next thing we gotta work on is paths and ways to make this look prettier on the outside and then also right around the sides here i'm gonna break some of this off and i'm gonna be adding a little bit of rooted dirt horse dirt a little bit of moss just kind of swing this around oh welcome back oh wow he just poofed out of here and left me leads oh man that's pretty nice oh that's starting to look a lot better now let's get some tall flowers <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. And now before my spoon breaks, uh, let's repair that. And we also have one rocket left, so let's uh, fix this as well. Whoop! Oop, we're fine. Oh man, look at all this! Oh, it's so good! We had this whole thing loaded up the whole time. Repair me, please! That's good for now. Now for some paths. Oh no! I'm fine. There we have it. A nice simple little path here with a little bit of cobble, a little bit of stone, a little bit of moss going up inside this build. Now for the bottom here, we just need to connect it to that little section. Thinking we just add a little bit of the cobble and the stone and the mossy, kind of like going right up to here and then just stop it and the rest will be just path block. Got to sprinkle in a little bit of coarse dirt too, just so it could be a little bit rougher. Yeah. This looks pretty good. Now for this side over here, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more trimming, a little bit more terraforming here on this side because it's a little bit too close to the door. And now this path is complete, going all the way around, kind of curving this way and connecting right behind our iron farm over to the main path over here in the road. We need to add a couple more details like trees and stuff, but you know what? It's all connected. Oh yeah, that looks cool, that looks really nice. I'm so proud of this place. Mythgard is expanding. Now, you know what? I need to know what to put here. This is a perfect spot for something. Perfectly clear, ready for building. What should we put right here? Let me know in the comments. Now, there's one more task that I have to get to before the end of this video. And one requires a lot of gunpowder. So let's grab this. We do have the sand already. Let's get some TNT. I need more gunpowder. Oh, that's a good amount. Let's just go with the stack for now. Any guesses what we're doing right now? It'd be pretty obvious heading to this nether portal. I'm gonna be taking these and that. And since we might not be using the elytra much, let's go get our chest plate. There it is. Now, let's go hunt for some netherite. We're just gonna go with a stack of TNT and see how much netherite we get. I wanna need from you guys in the comment section, how many ancient debris are we gonna get with a stack of TNT? Let me know. Let's see who wins. You win a block of netherite if you win. Now we need to head down. I'm thinking right here would do. Wish me luck. All right, I made it down here to Y15. Let me know if this is still the same for 118. I do believe it is, but uh, just in case, um, let me know. All right, here we go. Round one. Oh, there's one right there. Let's go. And two and three. Oh, yes, three right off the bat. All right. Boop. Ah, oh, there it is. Advancements. Let's go. Yoink. Oh, what? One right there. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, and we're behind it. Come on. Such good luck today. Is that one right there? Oh, there's one right there. Oh, there's another one. Oh, and another one. Yoink. Let's get these lovely cinnamon rolls. Yummy. Nom, 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 nom. Be careful. No, he's mad at me. It's not my fault. You're stupid. You're the one who got in the way. All right. Let's see how it is. Take that. I know there's a lot of you that love the bed technique. For me, TNT is the way to go, man. Less mess, really. You don't have to clean up all those flames all over the place. What do you guys do? TNT or beds? And what do you like better? Oh, I think that's the last one. Yep, that's it. All right, so let's see. If you said a stack of TNT was gonna give me 
13 ancient debris. You won. Um, all my ancient debris. There you go. <laughs> GG. I think with this, though, I can upgrade, what, three things? Pretty good. I think next time we definitely come down here with, like, 10 stacks of TNT. Now let's go ahead and add these bad boys here. Let's go four there. Let's go four here. And let's throw five in there. So let's do it. Netherite ingots. Three of them. Oh, that's so good. We got one scrap left. Now this is the toughest question ever. Where do I put these three? I know one specific one is getting it for sure. And that's the air sausages. I gotta do it. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, yes. Look at this. Oh, the air sausages. Let's go. And you know what? I think it's only fitting that we put it for our leggings and our helmet. Since we're going to be using the elytra a lot, these we're never taking off. And I want the most protection possible. Let's put it on these. Bam, bam. Oh, so good. Bam, bam. Oh, there it is. Full netherite. Except for the wings. Don't worry. But it kind of looks like it's netherite because of the glow. I'll add it to this one next. <laughs> I'm thinking next episode we go ahead and get all of these taken care of. Even our hoe. But that is all there is to it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. And I'll catch you on the next episode. From the hardcore world. Oh, I look so pretty. Let's go fly. Woohoo.